Zalot Studio Channel. Zalot Studio Channel is focused on virtual physics lab, simulation lab. So today, today's today's video lesson is Columbus law. So let's define Columbus law. Columbus law states that the force between two charges two point charges is directly proportional to the product of the two point charge and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the two charges the two charges so let me express let me express let me express it as a formula that f is equal to k times k1 q2 over r square where q q1 and Q2 is uh, the two charges and R mean the distance between the two charges where K mean the constant that is equivalent with 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught there epsilon naught mean epsilon naught mean uh, the two charges that appear in vacuum in vacuum epsilon naught epsilon naught the value of uh, vacuum is 8.85 times 10 to the power of minus 12 Coulomb square per Newton meter square. So the value of k is to be calculating 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, which is 9.0 times 10 to the power of 9 Newton meter square per Coulomb square. This is Coulomb's law. Columbus. So the Coulomb's law is the forces that uh, appear that the two charges the two point charges and the distance between divided by divided by the distance between the two uh, charges the square of the two charges columbus law when there are more than two charges when to be two charges k1 k, k, k times q1 q2 over r square what about the charge that greater than two charges the charge is more than two more than two how to be get the equivalent or the total forces so the electric force has a vector quantity just like any forces so charges are the same sign exerted a repulsive forces on other on one another when charges of opposite sign that exerts attractive forces attractive forces okay when to be the same charge the same charge the same electric charge that appear what repulsive when it's negative negative uh, repel each other and positive positives are also uh, repel each other what the opposite uh, sign charges the opposite which mean positive negative that unlike charges that attract when more than one charge exert a force on another charges so the total forces on the that charges is the sum of the individual forces the individual forces mean the two charges the force between the two charges and the force between the two charges and taking into account both their sizes of direction let come back into the simulation here here it is a Columbus law. A Columbus law. Okay. Here the charge Q1 and Q2. Okay. Q1 and Q2. How? Unlike charge, okay. It indicates the color, which means opposite charges and q1 is negative 4 micro columns q2 that is 8 positive 8 micro columns what between what the force between them okay the force just the force on q1 by q2 is 3.2 times 10 to the power of 2 newton the force on q2 
by q1 is also the same okay so q1 exert the force to q2 is 3.2 times 10 to the power of 2 newton or 390.57 newton forces q1 exert into q2 just like the same when to be increasing the the charges okay attraction between them is, is also what increase when to be separate increase the separation between them okay also what decreases that inversely proportional with the square of the between the charges okay here okay it is highly increasing the force between the two charges the two charges here scientifically 4.59 10 to the power of 3 newton forces in between them the attractive forces okay the force from q1 is just 4585 newton and the force uh, q2 by q1 that is 4585 5.5 newton let to be atomic atomic form that is the micro forms micro forms this is the same attraction force 10 with 10 10 with 10 that is 5.77 times 10 to the power of minus 7 minus 3 newton here a micro okay uh, 10 10 that is 4.5 which mean a very uh, big distance between the two pointers and here a micro or atomic size atom is very small in size so between uh, them the distance between them is just like here so the force is so increases here negative 10 to the power of minus 3 which is very small amount that the picometer that is 10 to the power of minus 12 meter picoming 10 to the power of minus 12 that is a micro size distance between them okay when the separation increases increases and increase okay the force between them is decreases decreases okay here the magnitude when to be decrease the distance between them force between them is increases when to be decreasing the charge here no force can act into no force act into q2 when q1 is zero okay this is what the repulsive force okay here the repel repel each other the force between q1 and q2 is repel yeah 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 ah.
please. Come on, please. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. This is the force that is one of the charges that repel with the other charge. Okay. When the distance between them increases, okay, the forces become what? It relaxes. Oh, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, to be close with one of the charge, with the other charge. Oh, 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 please, what, what you do? Ah! This is the maximum force between them. Okay. Again, one of the charge is okay. Let's change the sign. Automatically, what? The force between them is attractive. Therefore, the two micro person is what? Pull out pull out the force <sighs> I am relaxed now I'm relaxed now so oh, oh it's a big force ah. Ah. the two charges is attract okay. thank you this is the Columbus law which means unlike charge is attract each other and like charge repel okay attract each other repel <laughs> ah, here it is one of the charge is zero okay the force between them is zero zero multiplied by any number is zero okay now ah, here the attraction force attraction force okay and repulsion force okay thank you this is the simulation of columbus law just like here thank you for listening please subscribe the dalut studio channel and come i come come i'm coming for the new simulation lesson thank you goodbye